Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damriel. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Online. Let me just move the mouse out of the way. There we go. Now it's going to be a lot easier, a lot better. We are currently here with Elliot Rose Petal, and we finished doing our hunting log in the last episode. Now we're just chilling here because that's where the, uh, the, the game disconnected on us. So, yeah, let me turn back the... HUD. By the way, I figured out how to hide the HUD. Which is very nice when it comes to, you know, trying to be cinematic about the universe, about the world that we live in, about this great world of Eorzea. Seeing the imps walk around the... I'm trying to make myself move a little. There we go. Scenic pan, scenic pan of camera? I don't know. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I can do, like, scenic camera shots in this perspective, but let's get the HUD back on. Let's get from, third, oh, from first person. Alright, we gotta head over to... We gotta head over to Camp Drypone. Instead of teleporting there like a, a lazy person, I'm just gonna run there. Ow! <laughs> God. That physically just... It, it hurts to hear. It doesn't hurt me physically, but it hurts to hear. Anyway, hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I'm uh, having a pretty good day. I gotta say, talking about weather... I like the weather in this game. Compared to, like, where I live. Because in here, it's like, you know, it's reasonable. It's like, it's gonna be nice and, you know, cloudy right now. And then, in a couple of hours, in-game hours, it's gonna be rainy. Uh, but where I live, it's like, on one side of the town, it's pouring rain. Like, it's a tropical storm. On the other side, it's cloud. Like, and then a little bit over, it's cloudy. Then a little bit over, it's sunny. And then, like, in the northern part, it's like snow and blizzard for no reason. Because, why not? <laughs> Let's come back to Camp Drybone, and I believe we report to somebody about... Hmm, what did we do last time? I'm trying to think. We did the hunting's log. Oh yeah, we gotta come back to a flame sergeant at Camp Drybone. I think we're gonna be fighting Ifrit pretty soon. Ifrit is one of the major... Major primals, one of the major targets in this game. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Oh, look at that! We actually got a, an organization of people already set up. Alright then. Hello, flame sergeant. Ah, so you, Elliot Rose Battle of the Science? My thanks for coming, friend. We're stronger, f uh, we're stronger for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on our mission. Our objective is to capture Almaja and prize them with, prize the prize from them the whereabouts of the abductees. Sorry, it, it takes me a while to get into the whole reading thing. The loser men aren't aware of their of their man Angus has been exposed. When they come to the rendezvous point to meet the traitor, we'll spring the trap. Uh, owning the clandestine nature of the mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Uh, every member must count, so we are requested the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place at the Invisible City. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We stand to learn much and more of the Almaja plot. If the mission succeeds, Elliot, let's make sure it does. Alright, let's go do that. We're gonna lay the plot, lay the siege against the Almaja. God, it's so loud on my end. Let me turn it down a little bit. I started messing around with some of the volume stuff, and I realized that this game has some of the one of the prettiest soundtracks ever. I mean, just listen to it. Like this is just when you walk around the city, when you just walk around the city doing your shopping here at Drybone. Just nice, calming music. But at epic boss fights, oh my god, the music just gets—it's like an ultimate, like like a mega orchestra or something. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, and I love that the game has that. It's just one of the coolest things ever. Also, let's turn off this buff. There we go. We got a Fist of Earth on us, so now we'll take a little bit less damage than usual. It's kind of nice. I like that. I like that buff. It's like a stance that you don't have to like recast at a certain point. But we'll probably have to dance, like sort of stance dance a little bit. I don't know. Like I said, I never got far with this class. This is actually the fur furthest I've ever gotten with this class. I, not even on my main character, I've gotten pretty far. <laughs> I have the uh, level up usually to level 15, but that's pretty much why I stopped. I haven't done much after that. Maybe I might do something in the future, who knows. For now, I want to just, you know, see what this character can go with. Oh, what we can go with this character. Let's see, uh, did we do the job quest for... Let me see, uh... Quest? No, current, we only have currently two quests. I wonder if we did the... No, I'm pretty sure we did the job quest for level 20. So we now just gotta wait until level 25, and then level 30. And then around level 30, we can work towards our job. I'm thinking I'm gonna work on the side professions for the job on, you know, on my own, on the side, to do later. Because otherwise, it's just gonna... This last play will take forever. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna take as long as it is already, but... Let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of. Nope. There we go. Let's get this guy over here. Well, unless we can go around him. Nah. He'll spot us. I just spot him. Huh? 
Nice. Alright, let's wait at the destination. Uh, duty calls, commence battle for Lord of the Inferno. Yes, let's do it. Is the bait in place? Our man is in position, sir. Good. We'll make our move as soon as the Almoja appear. Yes, sir. These guys look really intimidating. Not even kidding, they're just huge hulking monsters, I don't even know... Wah! What is the meaning of this? Oh wait, wait that's a, that, was, that was the Amaja. Should've got like, lower voice something. Wait, something's amiss. Oh, it's... oh shit, it's an ambush. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. What? Who's, who the hell is laughing? A traitorous flame soldier. Oh, wait. This guy. Oh, yeah, this guy. I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I... I looted the immortal flames clutches for moons before finally getting caught. Do you not wonder how I managed it? I need to work among voice work. I'm not even kidding. I need to give each character certain voices. It was almost as if someone was feeding him information from the inside. Ha 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 ha. Aye, and every moment was known to me ahead of time. Ha ha ha! God, I keep doing evil less. Now, as much as I would love to chat a while, I have appointments to make. They're all yours. God damn, we gotta guy who treat us. Okay, now it's been forever since I've done this fight. Not sure which one I'm supposed to attack first. I remember the first time I ever did this, I had trouble because let's keep attacking whoever. Uh, Alright, let's go for the archers, I guess. Start off with them. Or oh, this guy over here, the loser. That's not an archer, goddammit. I need to go for the archers in the back here. Or, uh, one down. Let's get this one over here. Alright, any more? I think there's one back there. Let's get that one. Oh, there are a couple over here. Get this chant over here. Pop zoom in. There we go. Oh, there's one back there. He's coming for us. Let's see, where is he? There he is. It's, it's kind of difficult to target the enemies with the controller. down. Up, oh, never mind, more come in. And I leveled up. Nice! 
that's awesome. Uh, where's the one that's gonna attack me here? Where do you go? There he is. God, I don't even know who to fight at this point. There's so many of them. <laughs> and we get surrounded. I don't really like this kind of fights where it's like at the end of like at the end of the entire fight you have to pretty much lose. I don't like that. It kind of makes me feel like I'm just wasting time just running around punching things. Put up put up your weapon or your comrade's dead man. Or your comrade is a dead man. God I can't. Can't read the dialects at all. Behind you! Bring her. The rest of you, march. Traitor scum. I have to give every single po uh, every single character here a unique voice. Because otherwise, they're all gonna sound the same. I need to work my voice work or something. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, it could probably give me some practice. I did want to say I want to do some voice acting in the future sometime. You know, in any production possible. And now we are captured by the Amaja in a cave. They're the Amaja warriors that won't let us in anywhere. There's a flame private. He's scared. I think everybody's scared here. Uh, let's talk to... Flame Sergeant. Nope, not you. Team Nami, talk to you. There we go. Sergeant. I feel the Amaja meant to give us their gods an offering. Oh, give us to their gods as an offering. If I must die, then let me die as a soldier's death, with steel in hand. Duty Finder has been updated. The Bowl of Ember is now accessible. Alright, this is the part where we actually can queue in for an important event in Duty Finder. It is part of the... these... Uh, what are they called? Trials. And... In this one, we get to fight the Grand Ifrit, which is kind of cool. Let's see, how long is it going to take us to actually do the queue for this thing? Um, uh, the bumper, mouse, toggle, cursor. Uh, let's see, where's the, where's the cursor at? So, okay, now there it is. Uh, let's see, how long is it going to take for us? It's going to take us about 6 minutes wait. We already got 2 DPS in, so it really should not take us that long to wait. So that should be fine. Uh, how do we turn off the cursor again? Left bumper, right. There we go, now we turn it off. Let's talk to the flame frame of uh, this flame private over here. I think this is how we can get out of this cave. So pretty much what happens here is that we are captured by the Almaja, right? We got captured, we fought them, and this is where the rest of the surviving uh, people are. They've been captured here, and they're you know going to be offered to... Ifrit, one of the primals that Amaja worship. And Ifrit is like this big, I can't really describe him, he's like a big giant fiery demon. But he's not much of a demon, he's a primal, so it means he's a living creature of a sword, but in order for him to exist, he actually needs souls. So that's why we're being sacrificed. Let's go to Flame Primal over here, I think he lets us out of the cave, or he figures out a way to get us out of the cave, so we can still do stuff, instead of just sitting around here waiting for the Q to pop. Listen well. These waters feed into the marshes of Drybone. A short swim will set us to freedom. However, if all of us attempt to flee, we are likely to be discovered. You alone must sneak out and assemble a rescue party. Once you are one free, seek out our comrade stationed at Drybone. He will show you the way back here. May the Twelve speed your way. Leave the area? Yep, leave, let's leave the area. I think if I had people to like, get, like gather together or something, like, I don't know, if I had, you know, Something called friends. <laughs> I could like do this thing and not have to like wait for random queue, but eh, I'll wait for random queue. It shouldn't be too bad. Usually, this stuff doesn't take that long to queue in for because uh, the way the game is set up, uh, it gets the higher level players and you know, higher level players that like max level or have like, the top gear to still run these old instances to help out the lower level players that are still leveling. 
because it gives him a certain bonus award, like, um, can't really describe it. If you ever played World of Warcraft, you remember what the Valor uh, points are and Justice points are, it's kind of like that. Pretty much helps you get better gear, and by running all this lower level stuff, you know, being level capped and all, uh, it kind of gets you the points needed for your gear, and it lets the, you know, the players, like me, <laughs> pretty much be carried by somebody who knows what they're doing. Which is very nice, because when I first did this, I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing, and I would love to get some assistance. <laughs> I was thinking it would take me forever just to get in the queue, but it was almost instantaneous. I mean, it's gonna depend on the different times of day, so for now, we could probably find something to do around here. There's some side quests left and right that we can still do, so let's go do a couple. Because why not? It's just free experience for us to grab. Also, how are we doing on food? I wanna see if we have any food in here. Inventory... Uh, we could sell this. Uh, Food-wise, we only have this, the mustard eggs, which is not... Eh, I guess we could take... well, no, nah, let's not use mustard eggs just yet. I want to see if it, there's a food merchant, so we can just buy a bunch of food and not worry about it ever again. Maybe the junk monk... well, I doubt the junk monk would have any food. Uh, maybe inside the inn? Maybe inside one of these inns I might be able to find like a cook or something. It says there's a merchant this way. Oh yeah, I could check it over there. I think that's an inn over there. We could maybe see if somebody sells any food. So food gives you extra experience and I would love to just stack up on food as much as possible. Is it you, Miss Benchance, shopkeep? Let's see. Oh, look at that. We can get grape juice, which adds, yeah, over there on the bottom, on the bottom right, you'll be able to see experience bonus plus 3%, which is, you know, it's which is really nice when it comes to leveling. The extra 3% is not like, it's not amazing, but it's just enough to, you know, get you going, which is very nice. Let's see, um, something that's pretty inexpensive for food, I like that. Uh, pear is pretty, pear chocolate is pretty inexpensive. It gives a speed, a spell speed, vitality, critical rate. Spell speed is not what we need, really. This blue cheese just gives vitality. Um, if anything, mm, I guess maybe we could spur splurge a little bit. Skill speed, accuracy, vitality, uh, for grilled carp. Uh, let's, let's get some grilled carp, I say. Uh, whoa, that's a little too much. 99. Spent 2,000 gil on it. Haha, <laughs> hell no. We can get 10. That'd be pretty good, right? Yeah. Let's get 10 for 300. That's not bad. And then in inventory, we can move it over. Let's see if we can find it. We can move it over to... Let's see. Uh, come with me. We're gonna sit you over here. And... Yeah, there we go. We're good. We should also sell some stuff to the shopkeep now that we're here. Kind of makes sense. Um... Oh, never mind, we got a queue already. Nice! Well, look at that! Let's go ahead and get into the queue. And I'll let the cinematics play out and everything. So, hopefully the people that are gonna be with me will be, you know, patient enough with me. Because I, I do want to show the cinematics, they're actually very much worth it. Let me use the fish. Cannot execute this time. Well, that kinda sucks. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this instance. Lord of the Inferno, hearken of our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. Almighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech of you, grace us with your divine presence. Almighty Ifrit would bring before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If it pleases you, Lord, scourge the, uh, scourge the hazen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Bloody hell! Bring those two as well. Ugh. What's going on? This aim will be greed. None but servants of Lord Ifrit shall behold the rite of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me, I beg you. Pitiful children, old man. By my breath, I claim you. <laughs> Arise once more as my lower minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. I can't do master voices, I'm sorry.
almighty Ifrit. My one true god. Your words are bread. I guess he converted them. Wow. We didn't get converted. Impossible. But what sorcery do you resist my master's will? Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another? Yes, that is the only explanation. Forsooth, thy frail mortal flame can serve as vessel to the blessed one but one. Get messed up on that, my bad. Yet a smell not the faint to another upon thee. The truth of thine al the alliance weighs clear. Thou art of godless blessed number. The paragons ward a fine abhorrent, abhorrent kind. Thine existence is not to be suffered. Damn. <coughs> I'm thinking for this episode, I'm just gonna do some... Uh, voice editing. <laughs> Honestly, I think that would be actually pretty good if I did some voice editing for this. Just to, like, actually add the effect, uh, for the, uh, I guess for the creatures that I'm voicing. Ah, uh, because my voice can't even handle it. God, we got a half-naked tank here. Hello, half-naked tank. Uh, I guess you're wearing your bikini armor then. <laughs> Alright then, you do your thing, and, uh, we'll go fight. God, it looks so freaking cool. Look at that. Look at this. All of us just look freaking cool. Just standing in cool poses. Especially, like, me and this character, Jail Eclair. Look at us. We look freaking cool just standing side by side. <laughs> at 55% health, oh, a nail will be created in the middle. Kill it quick, all of us, or we all die. Let me just go ahead and respond just to make sure uh, these guys know that I understand it. Sounds good. 50% he flies into the air and then we kill him off. Sounds good. Okay, hold up. Sounds good. Alright, I know this fight, but granted I have a, like a little little new belief on my name, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm still a new. <laughs> Otherwise, they would just get angry at me for watching the cinematic. Hey there, my name is Thamriel. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also, I'd like to say thank you for supporting the channel the way you do. All the views and likes are really appreciated. Would you like to support the channel further and possibly develop the channel to have better quality videos? Videos on 1080p, live stream schedule set up, or maybe you're just a generous person who is willing to support the channel for what I do here. Well, if you'd like to support the channel and would like to become a patron for the channel's Patreon, you are welcome to. Any contribution will go into the channel to improve things such as frame rate, resolution, and upload speed, and possibly set up a live streaming schedule for the channel. If you'd like to learn more about this, check the link in the description for the Patreon page. And any contribution, even a dollar, is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for checking out the link.